Hi everyone, I'm Anupama Sugosh from ET Edge and we have with us the indomitable Leander Pez. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for joining us. Hi Anu, it's a pleasure. How do you feel about a summit like ours today? I think it's wonderful to encourage all the top brands of our country um, to keep exploring new horizons. Uh, for me to be here at the ET uh, Best Brands Awards is uh, a fun experience okay. uh, to get to meet some old friends who oh. are doing better in their business, to get to meet some new friends who are really pushing the boundaries uh, in, in the corporate world. For me, I feel that Indian business is on the upswing. Okay. And uh, when you look at India as a global player, I think we are the youngest country in the world. Absolutely. And at the same time, the opportunities in India are fantastic. And the unique part is how each company is looking at their graph, how they are planning their future. And to me, that's quite unique brand to brand. And in terms of your 31 years of experience as a tennis player, and not just, just a sports person in itself, could you tell us something, the three key strategies that you've really taken on across these decades? In my humble experience, uh, three key strategies would be one, know your playing field. Two, know your opposition. And three, always be a student of life and a student of your craft. To learn from the people who are doing it better than you, and at the same time to incorporate their magic, as I call it, into your business. Into your business. It's such a competitive landscape throughout. I mean, they say sport is competition, but in the business world, where have you seen the parallels? You know, I feel very responsible to my own brand because not only uh, am I playing tennis for the country, not only am I playing tennis for the flag, um, but at the same time as a brand, you have to be very true to your brand. Right. One is you have to evaluate exactly what uh, ideologies you live by, you have to evaluate how you want to present your brand in the market and then stay very true to that. I feel that uh, as true as one stays to one's brand values, the better the chance of people resonating with what you're trying to do. So for me as a, as a sporting brand, it's not just about playing tennis or playing sport, but it's in the space of quality of life, it's in the space of using sport as a vehicle to enhance people's lives. Right. We're here not just to build Olympic champions or build Wimbledon champions, but we're here to actually promote that every Indian can have a better quality of life. And for me, that is an issue. When you actually look at um, what Flying Man Ventures, which is my company, is doing, we're promoting physical, mental, and emotional wellness. We are looking at sports infrastructure. We're looking at sports education. And in that, that goes through all different age groups, that goes through all different uh, generations. Because it's not just about the longevity of life, it's about the quality of life. Right, right. So for me, I think that's really important, is to look at the growth in your values that you are as a brand. Right. And I believe before you, there was nobody, we didn't know many tennis players. I mean, we have Sachin Tendulkar that we know before Virat Kohli. But what, uh, what is that one impact do you believe that's happened across sports? Just because we know the Pez in tennis or a Bhai Chumibuti of football. Well, I think that playing a sport like tennis, which has equal opportunity and equal prize money, um, for me, I've been very, very proud to actually show that tennis and sport as a vehicle is for everybody. Yes. It's equal opportunity for women athletes as it is for men athletes. It's equal opportunity for young girls to get into universities, to get into colleges, to use sport as their vehicle to earn bread and butter. Right. Then it is also for boys. Also on saying that, I think that the greatest thing that I enjoy is traveling the world mm. and seeing Indians succeed. For me, whether it's in the field of banking, whether it's in the field of medicine, whether it's in the field of law, whether it's in the field of young entrepreneurs, I think that it is so wonderful to see Indians excel on the global stage. And for me, that is uh, always something that I support. That is always something I try to collaborate with young brands that have Indian origins and then are looking at global um, growth, so to say. So, taking on that note, since you've seen the global arena, where do you see Indians have that edge? Do you believe, uh, given the fact that India is already in the G20 presidency, where do you feel that we can really make an impact in terms of sustainability or even becoming a global economic power tomorrow? Well, whether you look at banking, whether you look at medicine, whether you look at small businesses, um, whether you look at the USP that Indians bring is that we're very cerebral. Mm. We think on our feet very fast. We do numbers in our head. We don't need calculators for it. Yes, yes. We, we are able to make decisions on the spot. 
and as much as you have some big corporate houses in the in the in, in the Indian uh, global stage, whether you look at the Reliances, you look at the yes. Godrejes, you look at you know the Rahejas in real estate, so to say, or if you look at even the Mahindras, mm -hmm. you know when uh, when you look at Indian businesses globally, we are not just in big scale, but also when you look at small scale businesses growing in the Western world, yeah. I think that cerebral thinking on your feet, numbers happening quick in your head, making quick decisions. Um, I think that's our USP. For me, the greatest joy is to see the way that Indian women have excelled in the global stage. Uh, you know, like Intra Nui would Absolutely. be a great example, Absolutely. and she's such a, 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 a great motivation global, yeah. for me yeah. to actually see that uh, how an, a, a person from Indian origin can go out into the into the world market have Indian values with Western uh, training, training absolutely. and really go out there and excel. To me, she's a, a great brand ambassador, not just for the banking world, but also for India as a whole. Absolutely. Some takeaways for young sportswomen, or perhaps <laughs> people who are trying to make it in the world, in their careers. You know, sport is a great vehicle to uh, enhance yourself, not just with education, but uh, also with earning a, a living. A living right. And uh, sport as a whole makes great friendships. It teaches you leadership. It teaches you camaraderie. It teaches you how to handle defeat as well as triumph and treat those two imposters just the same. So um, being an athlete with a global brand, I'm also very responsible to my own brand. Absolutely. I almost sometimes see in the office, I'm speaking about myself in third person. <laughs> and a lot of the, the youngsters who work with me, they kind of keep uh, chuckling and giggling at me. They kind of rag on me about the fact that I'm so responsible to my own brand. Absolutely. You know, so for me, I think things that uh, values, ethics, uh, the way you conduct yourself, the way you con conduct your relationships with people. We pride ourselves at Flying Man Ventures on repeat clients. We okay. pride ourselves on, on really loyalty to the people we already work right. with. You know? So being a second generation Olympian, uh, where my father won a medal in 72 and I won one in 96, there comes about a certain um, legacy and a certain responsibility to that legacy about the way you conduct yourself. You yourself. And for me, that's more important than just being a champion. Absolutely. The way you conduct yourself, the way you treat others, the respect you bring, the initiative you take to make others feel comfortable and enjoyable when they work with you. Um, generally always wins you your repeat clients and generally always makes great friends with the people you work with. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>